Let's look at the following example. Suppose that the sound level produced by a plane at a distance of 40 meters away from the jets is 130 decibels. Knowing this information, we want to calculate what the sound level is at a distance of 400 meters away from the jets of the plane. So we're going to break this problem down to two steps. In step one, we want to use this equation, the sound level equation, to calculate what the intensity of our sound is at a distance of 40 meters. So our equation states that the sound level at a distance of 40 meters is equal to 10 multiplied by log of the ratio of the intensity at 40 meters to the intensity not. Now intensity not is simply 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared and this B is given to be 130 decibels so we can rearrange this equation and solve for our I at 40 meters. So we essentially divide both sides by 10 and we get the following result and then we say 10 to this power is equal to 10 to this power to get the following result. And finally notice that 10 log 10 of this ratio is simply, well it's I divided by I naught equals 10B divided by 10, namely this result. So 10 to the power of B divided by 10 is equal to the ratio of intensity at 40 meters divided by intensity naught. So we multiply both sides by I naught and we get the product of I naught and 10 to the power of B divided by 10 is equal to the intensity of the sound 40 meters away from the jets of the plane. So we plug in 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared for I naught and we plug in 130 decibels for the B and we get the following result. We take the product and we get an intensity of 10 watts per meter squared. So this is the intensity of the sound at a distance of 40 meters away from the jets of the plane. Now, let's move on to step two. In step two, we need to recall the relationship between intensity and the distance, and it's given by the following correlation. So the intensity is inversely related to the square of the distance, as shown by this correlation. So this correlation implies the following ratio. So the ratio of the intensity at 400 meters to the intensity at 40 meters is equal to the distance at 40 meters squared to the distance at 400 meters squared. And this is the same thing as saying the following result. So we know what the top radius is, it's 40 meters, the bottom is 400, and 40 divided by 400 is simply 1 divided by 10. So 1 divided by 10 squared is equal to 1 divided by 100, and this is equal to I 400 divided by I 40. So our ratio of the intensity at 400 meters to the intensity at 40 meters is equal to 1 divided by 100. So we know what I 40 is that we found in part 1 and that was 10 watts per meter squared. So we plug that in our denominator and we can then use this equation to solve for I 400. So I 400 is simply 0 0.1 watts per meter squared is the intensity of the sound at a distance of 400 meters away from the jets of the plane. And now we can use this equation to solve for the sound level given in decibels. So the sound level B is equal to 10 multiplied by the log of the ratio of 0 0.1 to 10 to the negative 12. So we plug that into our calculator and we get 110 decibels is the sound level of the jets at a distance of 400 meters away from the jets of the plane.